What's up YouTube, Adam here, and in this video, I'm going to be bringing you my unboxing of this, the brand new, late 2013 Mac Pro. Now, as a lot of you will know, I've been using my previous generation Mac Pro going right back since October 2010, and I've been living with an extremely slow SATA bus and also USB 2.0 ever since that time, so I've been absolutely crying out for this extremely late upgrade to the Mac Pro from Apple, but let's get straight into the unboxing. Now, one of the funny things with unboxing the Mac Pro is it really does come with quite a few sound effects with all of these little tear-off strips, but it all adds to the experience of this long-awaited product. Now, just to let you know which specifications I went for, with this particular one, I went for the 6-core model. I bumped up the SSD to 512 gigabytes. I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, which I'm going to upgrade at a later date with crucial to 64 gigs. And I also upgraded the graphics card to the dual D700s. Now, as you can see, the package for this is extremely simple. And that really comes down to the fact that the new Mac Pro, especially compared to my generation that I've used for the past three years, is absolutely tiny. Now there's very little included in the box other than this little set of leaflets in here and also the power cable which we'll look at in just a minute. But first up, let's see the actual accessories that Apple do not really include with this. One of the best things is these, the brand new black Apple stickers. And if you leave a comment down in the comment section down below, I will actually pick one of the comments to win these stickers and I'll drop you a direct message on YouTube. So keep an eye out for that. Now, in addition to the huge book leaflet that you get, included the instructions and a little bit more information, you do get the power cable. And this is pretty much a standard power cable other than the fact it has that little fitting to make sure it goes completely flush with the new Mac Pro. And there we go, just another one of those really quite nice sounds that you get with the Mac Pro, just adding to that experience when you're actually unwrapping it. And a lot of the unboxings that I've seen have made it look quite silver and they do say that it is very, very reflective and that is very, very true. But it is most definitely completely black. It definitely does have that ridiculously high level of reflection as you guys can see here in the picture. But straight up off the bat, it's heavy, but it's very, very small and very, very beautiful as well. Now, as we come round onto the back of the Mac Pro, you can see we've got all of the new ports and connections. At the very top, we've got the audio output and we've also got a headphone jack. Then below that, finally, we have four USB 3.0 ports. Below that, we've got the six Thunderbolt 2 ports. We've got dual gigabit ethernet along with an HDMI and also the power button and also the power socket. Now I'm going to be bringing you guys a whole bunch of videos on the new 2013 Mac Pro. I'm going to show you how I get this connected up to all six of my monitors, how it performs with all six of those monitors. We're going to go through some benchmarks as well, both in terms of processor and graphics. I'm also going to get boot camp installed and we can do some gaming tests as well, running some of the latest PC games through this hardware and potentially across all six screens as well. But we'll come back to that in some later videos. Just make sure you're subscribed to keep in contact and make sure you get all of those videos coming into your inbox. Now, the only thing I've really got left to decide is exactly where I'm gonna put it. For me, I know exactly where I would like to be right now, but where am I gonna place this Mac Pro on my new setup? And indeed, talking of setups, there is gonna be a brand new setup coming in the oncoming month. So make sure you again, you're subscribed for that one. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit that like button for me, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.